Wow. Hi, this is Bloomfield Griller. This is very exciting. For the first time, we have tried to dry age a beef strip loin. And this is the result after five weeks. It's, it has a different color now. It is kind of hard, but when you push on it, <coughs> it's still flexible. So let's open the package. So, this is what it looks like. It's interesting. Check this out. Alright, let's cut the steaks of our five weeks dry aged beef. So we're gonna cut steaks and then we're going to uh, trim those and then we'll warm them in our barbecue at 250 degrees and then once we got them at uh, let's say 125 130 degrees we we will sear the steaks before dinner so what do you think Sam is this the right thickness I think so yeah like this perfect yeah oh yeah all right here we go Ah, this is what they look like. Should we do one more? Just to be sure? Just to be sure, sure. Right. We don't want to run out of food. <laughs> so, okay. That's beautiful. All right, let's trim this. Sam and I have some uh, difference of opinion here because I thought I saw a YouTube video which said that you can actually use these the scraps, but Sam says that no, you shouldn't and you can't. So we're gonna still keep this and look it up again. Nice sharp knife, huh? This is the cheapest knife we have in this house. And it's very good. Makes a quick work for those things. Yeah? Alright. That's one. It is really dried out. It's that's probably why they call it dry aging sound. <laughs> what do you think? I I, I would agree with you, Webb. All right, final one. So this is Christmas, and what have you done? So, in the meantime, our pit boss Kamado grill is heating up outside. We're gonna get it to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we'll put these steaks on get them to a temperature, uh, internal meat temperature of probably, what would you say, Sam? 130 or so? 130, fair enough. Well, then we'll let them rest a little bit and sear them when we serve the main course at the table. All right, that's it, Sam. So these are dry aged New York strip steaks which we're going to grill tonight. They look awesome. All right, our pit boss Kamado is at 250 degrees and we put our steaks in and we'll leave them here for 
an hour or so until the temperature reaches 125, 130 degrees. And then we'll remove them and let them cool down a little bit. All right, Sam, what are we gonna do? All right, our steaks have reached an internal temperature of 122 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna go ahead and pull them off now and get them in an oven to proof a little bit. Uh, get them uh, cooled down so we can sear them it off for the rest of the, uh, of the meal. I'm gonna go ahead and take these right off the rack. go our beautiful reverse seared steaks ready to get some color okay what are we gonna do now uh, Sam we're gonna take these to the oven let them rest for uh, 20 minutes or so let them cool down a bit and then we're gonna sear them off on a hot grill awesome master right. chef Sam is gonna sear these beautiful steaks so Sam what are you gonna do all right we're gonna... oh see the steaks we're gonna put them right around the center in a ring we salt the top, so we're going to put them face down, and then we'll salt the bottoms and get everything nice and seasoned. Nice close, Sam. Thank you. Oh, that's looking good. There. Two, four, five, six. Seven steaks. All right. All right. So, how long are we gonna see you for? Flip these. Thirty seconds. Yeah. Damn, I think your steaks look amazing. Very nice. We're ready for dinner. That's awesome, Sam. Looks good. Yeah. Well, we have some uh, miraculously dried meat, some fennel with orange uh, sauce, glazed carrots with parsnip, poached pear, red beets with a dot of goat cheese and pistachios, and tornado potatoes. So what do we say? Yum! Mm. <laughs> All right.